Welcome Vikings and White Queens. I'm Olivia Christiansen and this is your KLIB Student News. We have a lot to share with you today, including local news, world news, sports, and more. So have your pencils ready. There may be some information you want to jot down. Ozma? Last week, the varsity tennis players won 72 games out of 79. And the varsity team also won 12 games to zero against Wellington. Keep up the good work, tennis players. In volleyball, Corral Atkinson, Yadira Beret, Ali Breckner, Lucy Christopher, Jamie Crawford, Catherine Demerit, Hannah Hassel, Maggie Henson, Kalia Hirsch, Sophia Hoffman, Sammy Hudak, Cassidy Jackson, Tierji Jackson, Jordan Johnson, Megan Mayo, Sophia Summerstuff, Audrey Tweeton, had all worked together to make an outstanding 8th grade volleyball team. And the 7th grade volleyball team won both of their matches on their first game. You're making us proud, volleyball. Don't think we forgot about you, cross country. We are all proud of how the cross country boys and girls completed their second race of the season. The top three boys are Vaughn Rushenberg, Kevin Conlin, and Aiden Seidel. The top three girls are Marissa Duffy, Sophia Fitchell, and Riley Andrees. You guys all completed this two mile race in record time. Gia? We've caught up with our very own head Vikings football coach and players to talk about this year's hopes and inspirations. What's your name? I'm Coach Lee Oldenburg. This is my second year at Lesher. Started last year with the uh, seventh grade and this year I've been named head coach. What are you looking forward to most this year? I think the thing we're looking forward to most as a staff is to watch these kids grow and develop as young athletes. Uh, coach Pites, Coach Ritter, Coach Herrick, and Coach Maget and myself are trying to develop kids and teach them how to play the game of football. We're really excited to see that growth every day. And what keeps you motivated? The thing that motivates us the most is watching young athletes compete at a high level and have fun. Um, we're excited to come out and defend the district title at the eighth grade level. We really want to see these kids grow so that someday they can hopefully play on Friday nights under the lights. What's your name? Luis Fernando Romero. What are you looking forward to most this year? I'm looking for the games. And what keeps you motivated? Doing conditioning and um, just working with my team. What's your name? I'm Simone Schroeder. What are you looking forward to most this year? I, don't know, I just the games. I guess this is my first year playing football, and I'm just looking, just want to play the game and see how it is. And what keeps you motivated? I guess just getting, just being fit. Like oh. I just like football and sports in general. What's your name? My name's Jacob. And what keeps you motivated? Um, just knowing to focus on what I'm doing and keep doing good at it. What are you looking forward to most this year? Just getting to get my tackles in and doing the best I can. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Gia. Best of luck to our Viking athletes. According to CNN Student News, disaster struck in eastern Japan. A tropical storm called Itao has hurtled as much as two feet of rain across the homeland. This enormous amount of rainfall is hitting a part of Japan that has already had daily precipitation for weeks. Officials say more than 170,000 people have been evacuated. Dozens of people have been rescued straight from their homes. More rain and flooding are expected. What a traumatic story. On a lighter note, U.S. government and politics. For the GOP, the Grand Old Party, a.k.a. the Republicans, well, they have some pretty strong candidates. Donald Trump is in the lead, Ben Carson is at a close second, and also, Jeb Bush is in third. And now for the donkeys, the Democrats. Hillary Clinton is in first, Bernie Sanders is 
is in second, and Joe Biden is in third. Formal politics may not be a huge part of Lusher, but clubs and activities are, and you should get involved. Guys, tell us all about it. Rock Climbing Club takes place every Thursday at Inner Strength from 2.30 to 4.30. Rock Climbing Club is going to last all year long, but don't feel obli obligated to come every time. You get to choose when you attend. Mrs. Pierce, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Murphy, and Mr. Butis are all part of Rock Climbing Club. Risk taking, communication, and team building are all main factors involved in rock climbing. Mr. Mayor would like you to be aware of the fact that there is an interest fee of $8 for inner strength. But scholarships are available. The information packs to sign up are, are in Mr. Mayor's room, room 12. They will be available soon! No Barriers is an opportunity to spend nine days in the wild, sleeping under the stars and learning about the desert around you. The first four days in the desert you spend doing service projects for the Navajo. You don't even sleep in tents. Mr. Swan says, and I quote, it's awesome. If that isn't enough to convince you, the next four days you get to go rafting down the San Juan River and learning about the river e ecosystem. The extreme challenge is to survive the entire nine days without any electronics. Even Mr. Swan admits it's difficult. No barriers! Ever wonder what Riverwatch is all about? Wonder no more, I'm here to tell you. Riverwatch is all about making sure our own Spring Creek is clean. You even get to collect and test waters. Riverwatch is every first Tuesday and Wednesday of every month. You meet in Mr. Mayor's room, room 12. Mr. Mayor says, and I quote, we use many different scientific techniques. Informational packets will be located in Mr. Mayor's room. Lucas, Sammy? Do you enjoy playing chess? Then Chess Club is for you. Chess Club's first meeting was Tuesday, September 15th in room 300A at 3.30, but it's not too late to join. For more information, visit Ms. Crossland's room or um, get a flyer from outside her door. Go Viking chess players. Checkmate. Aw, oh, dang it. Maybe I should join Chess Club. Do you like Legos or robots? Well, Lego Robots might be the perfect club for you. Check in with Mr. Murphy for more information. It's from 2.15 to 4 p.m. and will go until November 21st, which is their final event. That event is called the Trash Track, and it involves robots tr solving trash and recycle problems. Are you ready to take on a challenge? The 40 book challenge is happening right now and everyone can join. The 40 book challenge goes till May, but it's never too early to begin. To join, just click on the 40 book challenge link on the Lesher website. Talk to Mr. Butis or your language and literature teacher for more information. So many great clubs and things to do after school, Ozma. But people really value their after school time, don't they? They do, they do. But what a great opportunity to make new friends, learn something new, and gain new perspectives. And just have fun. And it's great stuff for your resume. Exactly. I'm not waiting until I'm 18 to start thinking about what should go on my resume. You got it, Ozma. What's happening in local and regional news? Let's find out. Mariah? In local and regional news, the annual Scottish-Irish Festival drew large crowds in Estes Park this past weekend, and what a fantastic celebration. Visitors enjoyed shopping in various tents filled with attire, crafts, jewelry of the era, full-body armor jousts, dog shows, parades to honor the past clans and knights, a myriad of food options, and excellent live music. Everyone should make it a point to experience the Scottish-Irish Festival. It happens every September in Estes Park, Colorado. Oh man, I wish we went to Comic-Con. It sounded like a lot of fun. You can always have next year. It was in town last Saturday, and the people that went told me it was a blast for all the superheroes and the villains. Will you tell me about it? Absolutely. It was a great event that included kids from all ages. It had events like Ghostbusters, Star Wars, anime, and much more. Okay, 
I've never told anybody this, but I'm a huge comic fan. I'm definitely coming next year. Your secret safe with me. Hey John, are you going to Cans Around the Oval this year? Cans Around the Oval? Cans Around the Oval is a yearly event where people involved in our community and school work to raise awareness about hunger and raise food for the local food bank. Not only is it a fun event, but it's the right thing to do. That sounds great, but why should they care? Well, last year, as a community, we collected over 60,000 pounds of food and almost $50,000 in donations. This program helps over 40,000 people in Larimer County every year keep food on the table. Wow, I never noticed that there was poverty right here in Fort Collins. I only thought it was in big cities. The One Day Food Drive is coming up on Wednesday, October 21st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hope to see you there. Okay. John, Mariah, Mia, thanks for all the great information. Vikings and Vikings, thanks for watching. If you have any newsworthy ideas, please come see the KLB cast members. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time on your KLIB Student News. Bye! All right, all right, Lesher Vikings and Vikings, how about that first KLIB broadcast of the year? Really excited about the school year. We're four or five weeks in. We're about halfway through the first quarter. October's almost here. It's important we started strong, and now we got to keep finishing through, pushing through this quarter and finish it strong. I want to thank, thank our KLIB news crew for all the great work that Here we are. We're, we're up and running in our school year. We got KLA, KLIB running and, uh, and things are going well. So thanks for a great school start. Um, let's anchor down and, and finish the next half of this quarter well and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Living the dream.